Eat my revolution blue monkey! Monkey, funky, great clean, smooth, the plate of mouse! Not in the face! We're on the march. What a show. Yeah. The American made I am broccoli. Now, just to retain it. Hey! Oh, the stink of it. Yeah. My code name is Nick. Tech? Nick. Nick. Nick so days, Ned. Nick so dish. You mean like fun and educational? Take your mouse. I'll be able to eat fish for a while. No, no fun. Where's the jerk who calls himself a dick? I am that jerk. Yeah. I'm making gravy without the lobs. Ah! Cool. That is good, baby. Fire me, Fire boy. Me. Put it in the happy box. Oh, very bad. Very bad. It's definitely unacceptable. Yeah. Midnight. Ah! Yeah. Do you dig? I am mighty. Cut off the larger closet in the world. I have a glow you cannot see. Hi, Arthur. We're bad. Cool. Eat this kitten. The boots of evil were made for what? Don't forget the pride. Do you catch my drift? I don't know the beating of the word surrender. I mean, I know it. I'm not dumb. Just not in this context. You would do battle with the nose of your birth. Crack, 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 For a smog. Crack, 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 with a K. I watch him a zog. For accident log. Crack, crack, Ah, laxative log. No, no, no. Laplander zog. For accident dog. Crack. Set sucker frog. No, no, no. Susan. Gelatin pickle. Mustache milk. Better than it sounds. I'm full of tinier men. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fire me, boy. <laughs> I think so. Jack Hughes. Chum. Tech. Ooh, I look cool. Hey, the three. Da, 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 three now. 23 skidoo. The three. Da, 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 three now. I might be dangerous. Three, da, 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 the tick. Da, 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 da. Sun height indeed. Initialize dampeners. Cut and feed. Begin transmission. This program is intended for mature audiences. Parental discretion is advised. Well, happy Sunday, everybody. We're here on Weird Fantastic Toy Adventures with another Sunday Hangout. I'm Bill. Looks like uh, it's just me and you, Shaitan's Hammer, but uh, that's okay. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to get down here, and I'm going to uh, open those two mini balls that I picked up from Dollar General. They were the last two there, so I said, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and get them. And... Uh, I'm going to open our long box heroes. Hey, Sue Studio, good to see you. Glad you showed up today. Uh, I'm waiting on everybody to get here right now. There's not a whole lot in the, in the house, yeah. And uh, we're going to open those two long box heroes I picked up. Maybe look at the other uh, like uh, 
uh, action figures like them that have come out from uh, Power Stars and from the uh, the other the other one that I got. It's the Rocketeer. We'll look at those as well. Hey, what's up, Blue Harvest? Good to see you, man. Uh, and I picked up a, a couple of uh, action figures from Manic Plastic over there, uh, Big Mike. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you guys are interested in getting some toys that are, are maybe, you know, they're not on the shelf anymore and you don't want to go pay eBay prices, check out Big Mike over at ManicPlasticToys.com. He's got what you need. And uh, I'm going to look at the web store and, uh, and old uh, Stinkor there that I picked up from him. And, of course, uh, we've got that brand new video with Stinkor in it. So we'll, we'll be showing some music and fun. After we get through uh, doing uh, doing the the openings here that we've done with the with the halls that we've had over the last uh, little little while, and uh, and we'll see what you guys want to do as well. So uh, let me head on over to the toy table there and get started. So as you can see there, uh, there's our two long box heroes that I have not opened yet, and I do want to get into those. And there's the the two. Uh, blind balls that I picked up at Dollar General and you can see uh, I'm obscuring web store there there we go you can see web store and uh, old stink or there so uh, let's let's just get started and uh, start opening up some stuff what do you what do you guys want to open first blind balls long or long box heroes here we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do a little a little poll here and see what you guys want to do uh, open first. Long box heroes or mini brands. And we got long box heroes and mini brands. And that pole go in there and see what you guys want to do with that. Uh, while we're while we're waiting on to figure out what we're gonna open up first, you notice that uh, over there there's that Dungeons and Dragons uh, Elkhorn figure sitting over there. We might get into him today if we have time. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, what's up, John? Good to see you, man. Figuratively speaking, has joined us here in the house. Good to see you, man. All right, uh, come back over here with me on the toy cam here. And uh, if we can get figured to be speaking to show up here. Huh. What on there? Uh-huh, so uh, something's going on with my chat here. It's not letting it show up on the screen. There we go. Now, figure to be speaking on the screen there. can open up his balls yes I can Susudio what a pun what a pun yeah I could open them up if I wanted to yes sir so uh, uh looking at the poll there we got 60% on the mini brand so far so uh it's looking pretty good let's open it up here and see what's going on 40% for long box hero 60% mini brands and we got five votes in. There's probably not five people in the house. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that and say y'all want to open the mini balls. All right. So let's get started with mini balls. I'm at church and be back in a bit. Happy Sunday, y'all. All right. Well, we'll see you later there, John. And glad you could stop by early. And uh, we'll see you this, uh, later if you get back in time for music and fun. All right, let's get over here and see if we can get them mini balls going. Let me move the camera down where we can uh, get a little work area here to work in. And uh, as you guys remember, this 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 causes a lot of pain to me because we get a lot of, 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 of leftover junk. And uh, these mini balls are sometimes they're hard to get into. Got to get into them like this. course for some reason they they some of them get glued down where you can't can't get into them very easily and you got to open the inner 
inner part and there we go we got that part open here we're gonna have a trash heap going over here to the side they open like an orange if you guys remember you gotta pull the tab off the top I'm sure a little kid can tear it open uh, you never know uh, man I don't know uh, these sometimes these are harder to get into and I don't know what let's see what we go Ooh. we've got some sunny delight we go some sunny D there going on we can get it to focus in on that sunny D there we go some sunny D oh we got something to build we've got a store shelf to build and I will build that I am going to build this right here on the air right in front of you guys and let you see what this is Here's the sticker sheet for it. So I got all the little pieces. There we go. All right, so we're gonna build that store shelf here after we get everything out of the mini ball. Oh, Teddy Grams. That's pretty cool. All right, we're three in. We got two more to go. We got over here. Oh, another one of them burrito bombs and some more of that little little money. That's another another pack of ones there, and a burrito bomb. Go. And last one. Hey, Gap After Dark. Good to see you, man. Oh, Radical Mom in the house. What's going on? Uh, many brands can be found at Dollar General and Walmart and Target. That is correct, sir. Oh, here is some uh, back tave. Uh, yes, this is some uh, uh, hand sanitizer there, so the the action figures uh, can can sanitize their hands and not get the coof from each other. I guess because you know that 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 stops the coof dead in its tracks when you sanitize your hands. All right. Uh, we'll put this off the side. We're gonna build. We're gonna build our little our little store shelf first. So we got uh, sticker sheet, and we've got our little instruction booklet here. Shows us everything that's in there and how to put it together. And what do I want to start with first? I think I want to go ahead and put the stickers on first before I start building. They can be a pain in the ass. Uh, you know, barcodes on there. Kind of neat. And they always give you an extra sticker because they know you screw up once. All right. Yeah. Stickers are always the worst part of putting together toys, I think. Great. There we go. One more, and we can get ready to build in. Doo 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 doo. On there a little straighter than that. There. All right, I got that done. Until I take note, extra stickers. Yeah, yeah, they always give you an extra sticker. So if you screw up, you got something to fall back on. All right, so we got to follow our instructions. So I'm going to take this piece here. We got these two pieces that pop in here and here. And we need to take two of these uprights here, pop them in here. 
that. These two guys here going here. here. Yeah. Here at the top. Now, now we need to put the shelves on. I'm going to space them out properly. Start with the bottom. Of Got a little drawer there. Right there. Yeah. There we go. Or pop it out. And the next shelf, I want to put it, I guess, about. Yeah, I'm in about right here. Him out. No. Last one. All right. All right. But some of our stuff up. The antelope. Eighty grams. Uh, burrito bomb. Look, look, everything fell, huh? Get up there, burrito bomb. The hand sanitizer. There we go. What do you guys think? Build, building an IKEA shelf. Uh, yeah, hey, Boba Hicks, what's happening, man? Good to see you. Glad you stopped in. All right, man. And, uh, of course, we had our, our little monies here, so move that back here to the side and put all this stuff over here on the trash. And, of course, we always get this little thing here that tells us all the different little little things that you can get. And these things are quite extensive. There's a lot. Look, there's the monies. Uh, they got uh, 50s and 100s and 20s and 10s and 5s and 1s. And I've only got 1s and I think 10s. I have some 10s or 20s. I can't remember. I got, I, got, I got one pack of those and a couple packs of 1s so far. So let's check out the next mini ball. That is so cute and cool. It says Radical Mom. Yeah. All right, let's uh, check out the next mini ball here and see what's in here. And once again, here's time to take the zipper off and peel the outer layer off. Making a, another pile of mess. All right, and top. Get that top piece off. And get that started off. Forgot about the inner layer there. We gotta get it off first. There we go. Alright. And just get started with one of these little slices here and open it up. Uh-oh, something else to build. What is this? 
Oh boy. And there's a sticker too. Alright. So what can this be? A safe. The store safe. Alright, so that's what we're going to build after we get everything open out of the mini ball. We'll build a store safe. Oh, check it out. Bazooka bubble gum. Ooh, and it opens. I can feel something inside of it. See if it pop, pop, pops off of it. No? No, it don't open either. It's just something in there. I guess that's the bubble gum. Bazooka bubble gum. All right, three more slices to go here. I remember that bubble gum, yeah. Bazooka uh, bubble gum. Bazooka Joe, they have the comics on them. All right, this one here is going to be a toughie to get into. There we go, we got you going. Well, what have we here? A little cup like some more ramen noodles the last cup like this we had was a special it had the sparkles on it this one don't okay Let's see what we got in here. Uh -oh. this is uh some uh color satin ink revlon some kind of a cosmetic product of some sort Okay, cosmetics. And last slice here. Oh, you remember it too there, Radical Mom. Oh, oh, here we go, some more monies. This time we got tens. Got some tens this time. All right, and another one of these burritos. No, nope. this time we got drumstick squishies. Rome stick squishies candy. And that. That over to the side. Now we're going to build that safe. So, I guess we need to start here. Make sure we've got all of our pieces. Can't forget this little piece here. That's the combination. Top and the bottom here. All right. Everything is oriented correctly. Yes. These. Yeah. Let's get started building. All right. So we'll start with. This piece. This. Or any correctly. Back, okay. All right. There. All right. Now. Boy, here. Back. Lines down. There, that. 
effects. Combination lock onto the door. There we go, got the combination lock on the door, and it goes, uh, how's it go, that out, I got this on the wrong side, uh, ah, see what I did wrong, wah, 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 All right, Bill. I put it together wrong. There we go. I'm gonna get it right this time. Here's the door, right there, and here is the top. Lots of tabs are in the right place. There we go. Now. And last but not least, we have uh, uh, the number pad. And it goes right there. Yeah. Door will open if I can get it to open here. Well, now, I'll we'll put our money inside the safe. One's in the safe. And there we go, folks. Got all of it done. Yep, that's to keep the money in the safe. That's right. Now we got a big pile of trash that I've got to get rid of. So I'm going to go grab a garbage can. And we will dispose of all this trash right here. The trash that we generated just opening too many balls. And as soon as I get all this trash put up, I'll come back and hang out with you guys in the chat till we get ready for the next figure to open up. There we go. Got the trash cleaned up. All right. Now. Got the trash cleaned up. Now, I've got... Uh, Back here in the back behind uh, Stink Ore and Web Store, I've got uh, a little cylinder container that a couple of mini balls that I bought from Walmart came in, and that's what I've been using to store everything in. So I'm going to put everything that we just did today in here. Bomb burrito, burrito bomb, and we'll put our new little 
shelf in there as well. And uh, this way. that shelf to fit down in there. So, now then. Now then. Put safe in there underneath here. And we'll put everything else in there. Make it all fit. There we go. Everything inside the container now. How about that? I'll come over here. See what you guys are saying. Yeah, that's to keep the money in. It's the safe. All right, guys. Uh, are you ready to open up something else? Or you want to go ahead and start with a little music and fun? Let me know in the chat. And uh, we can open up the, the two long box heroes after we do a song or two if you want to. Get the day started out right. Just let me know here in the chat. Guys, I want to uh, keep the show going here. Hmm. Ah, today's Sunday. The start of a brand new week. Do a song, says Su Studio. All right, what song do you guys want to hear? We'll get the music and fun list up here. Uh, so what you guys want to hear, let me know. Uh, pick out the song, Angie Baby. <laughs> well, of course, okay, we'll start the show out with Angie Baby. But uh, can't just have one to start out with. we got to have more. So uh, let me know what you want, and I'll get it set up here. I'm working on it right now as we speak. Uh, keep, keep, keep them coming, folks. So we've already got Angie Baby has been requested. We'll get it on out of the way right now. Terrippy says Satan's hammer. All right, man. Uh, we got some new ones on there. As you can see, I've got uh, I've got some little stickers on there blinking at you. Lance Russell's nose. Okay. Scarborough Fair. All right. Drunken Sailor. All right. There we go. All right. Everybody's already started here. All right. Let me run up here and start getting these together for you guys. And as you can see, I've added the Lone Ranger and I've added the Fantastic Four 1994 opening. Uh, let's see, Lance Russell's nose. Wimp Busters, okay. All right. Sure can get all this going here. All right. All right, I'm getting it going, getting it going. You guys been having a good week? Been a good week here. Uh, I hate to see the week end so soon, but you know how it goes. All right, Lance Russell's nose, Wimp Busters, and Drunken Sailor. What do you do with Drunken Sailor? All right. Pretty drunken sailor go. Getting hard to, harder and harder to find as the list gets longer and longer. There he is. And we'll put drunken sailor on the little list here and we'll get started. Pictures of Superman. You got it there, radical mom. Throw some adventures of Superman into the, into the, uh, Mix here. There we go. Bring it mixes of Superman down here. And get started. Alright. Alright, here we go. Instrument of War. Alright, we get Instrument of War in there. Alright, good thing. We gotta have a, a skit to go with it all. Gotta have a skit to go with it all. Or I just saw it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get them started, and I'll continue working on, on, on getting it set up there for you. So we got uh, Instrument of War and Adventures of Superman have been requested. So here we go. A little bit of music and fun before we get to the next opening. For uh, 
uh, the new record from Jimmy Hart. It's called Lance Russell's Nose. Jerry's got out a brand new record. We think you're going to get a kick out of it. Listen to the King and Wimp Busters. Ready? Two, three. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Adventures 
Skeletor and his evil warriors have finally banded together for a final assault on Castle Grayskull. Come warriors, we will assault Castle Grayskull and I shall be the king of all of Eternia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready master, let's go. your leave, Mistress Alley. Skeletor and his evil band of warriors have been spotted approaching Castle Grayskull just a few marches away. Oh, it's Alley the Piper, Master! You know what? Fuck you, Skeletor. I ain't going up there. Not with Allie the Piper there. She'll inspire them to kill us all. It'll be a bloodbath. I'm out of here. Master, uh, I have something else I have to do. Uh, uh, maybe next time. Come, Beast Man. We'll show these cowards. Beast Man? you, Ally the Piper! It's time for a history lesson. After the Jacobite Uprising, known as the Battle of Culloden in the year 1746, there were a series of bans and changes implemented by the English to the Scottish Highlanders. It became illegal to wear tartan and other forms of Highland dress, and the Great Highland Bagpipe was also classified as an instrument of war and was also banned. It is said that somebody was even executed for brandishing a Highland bagpipe after Culloden. If you were seen wearing a kilt or tartan, you could be put in prison for up to six months after just your first offense. The Highland Pipes were classified that way until 1996.
the Lone Ranger. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early west. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. The Lone Ranger rides again. And I am back. Good to see everyone here. Boba Hicks down there uh, chatting away with us through studio and I talking about Clay Moore and Jay Silverheels being real friends in life. And of course, uh, as we all know, Clayton lived his life by the Rangers' creed. Has the Lone Ranger ever gotten a good modern adaptation? No. No, uh, the Clayton Silsbury movie, The Legend of the Lone Ranger, flopped really hard because, and most of that had to do with the studio and the fact that they picked Clayton Soulsbury to play the Ranger. Uh, there was uh, an attempt at making a updated WB television show. That was all full. And anything that I've seen since has been bad. Now, the Dynamite comics, those are pretty good. Get your hands on them. They're, they're kind of pricey these days, but those, those are not bad at all. All right, uh, I figured we would uh, go ahead and get started with the long box hero. So who do we want first, Tick or Goon? Let's, uh, let's get a poll going here. All right, uh, open first, Tick or Goon? All right, Tick. Goon. All right, and we'll start that poll going. Never heard of the WB series. Be, be glad, Shaitan's Hammer. Be glad. Vote, Susudio. Vote in the poll. There we go. 100% so far for Tick. So that's Susudio's vote. Yeah, Shaitan, don't even, don't even research it. You don't need to see that, that awful piece of trash. Uh, that's pretty, pretty, it's pretty bad, I, I can tell you now. Pretty, pretty, pretty bad. All right, so uh, right now we're at 100% for opening the tick. Uh, let me bring the, the two figures forward so we can see them here on the camera. Here is tick. Here is the goon. And I'll take myself off the screen here so you can see both them better. These are both by Fresh. Uh, monkey fiction in association with uh, Jason Goyer, the toy otter. Tick, 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 tick. Deflator mouse. Well, I, I, it would be nice if we had deflator mouse, right? Spoon. Hey, Gojitron. What's going on, man? Glad you could join us, man. Uh, so we're looking at the poll here. Let's see what it's looking like. Uh, so we got seven votes so far, and it's 100% for the tick. All right. So that, that, that pretty much is going to end that poll right there. All right. Tick's got himself some muscles. Yes, he does. He was a little over-muscled on purpose. Uh, the New England comics that this is based on are a hoot. If you ever get a chance to, to, to read those, I've got both the comics themselves and I've got the collected series over here. Of those those are wonderful comics. Try to watch The Lone Ranger with Johnny Depp as Tonto and I couldn't get past 10 minutes. No, that was awful too. That was pretty, pretty damn bad there, Sioux City. Oh, I didn't like it either. But that WB television series was worse, if you can believe that. All right, so here we have the tick here. And uh, it says new for 2023 in the corner. It's got the Long Box Hero Collection logo on it. We got the ticks logo plus Toy Otter here in the corner. And up at the top, uh, that Fresh Monkey Fiction logo there. There we go. And we turn around here on the back, uh, we see collect them all, and we see the cross sale of everything that's available so far in them. 
and it says up here at the top the tick arrived in the city with one goal to fight crime arriving with nothing more than his own delusions of heroism the tick recruited the hapless Arthur as his sidekick with a battle cry of spoon he burst into action New England comics is the home of tick it was first created by Ben Edlund in 1986 and evolved into a loving parody of traditional superhero tropes. Udland's humorous writing style combined with the Tick zany adventures have made the character a beloved icon in comic books, television, and animation. And I love the TV show. The TV show, uh, the, the, not the TV show, but the cartoon. The, the, there were, there's been two TV shows made. Uh, the first one wasn't too bad, but it didn't last very long at all. And the second one I think is available on Amazon Prime, and I have not watched it at all. Has anybody seen the Tick television show that uh, series that is on Amazon Prime? The live action series. The new one. Okay, so I got him out of his plastic prison here. And the only thing that comes in here is just the action figure himself and his uh, included figure stand. Uh, Tick doesn't have any accessories. He has no spoon or anything. I watched some of the Cartoon Network show of the Tick. Yeah, the, the, uh, well, that started out as a Saturday morning cartoon, I believe, and then they, then they, uh, re-ran it over on Cartoon Network, if I'm not mistaken, if you're talking about the cartoon. So, pretty much, you got the articulation that, that you would see in a Super Powers-like figure. Uh, he's got the head articulation. I love the, the look on his face here. There. Uh, there we go. Now, and he's got the leg articulation that we're used to. And, ooh, those knees are tight. Ooh. And I want to be careful with him because... I don't want to break them. I've heard heard that sometimes these guys, you know, when they first come out of the package, need to be heated up a little bit. And of course, like all the Fresh Monkey Fiction, they have they turn at the knees here. If you guys can see that, uh, the original Superpowers did not do that, so you can uh, get them into a, a better poses to make them stand better. But the included figure stand helps that a whole lot. So. Uh, we can we can have him stand up on his figure stand. And no, these do not have stringy dingies on him. The newer Amazon tick seem to be uh, a parody of more modern superhero stories like The Boys. Okay. Yeah, tight knees. Army Hammer is insane. Yes, he is. That he is. That he is. Yeah, they don't put stringy dingies in the long box collection, and they, and they, I don't think the uh, Power Stars had them either. Uh, and uh, McFarlane's uh, toys don't have uh, the uh, well, actually the uh, Super Powers ones don't have stringy dingies either. So that's good. And uh, let's go down here and let's pull out one of my boxes of these. Long box heroes and uh, power stars that I have down here, and just take a look at the differences and and everything in them. So, uh, as I get into this, I will open this sucker up. And we're going to get the Rocketeer out, and I'm going to load him up with his accessories here. He's got a rocket pack on his back, and he's got that. I think it's a German Mauser that he's got in his hand for a handgun. And of course, a uh, figure stand so that he can stand without toppling over. Here we go. See the, uh, the way they look together there. You can package figures without tons of ties. Who knew? Yeah, that's it. Ooh, the tick. Yeah, and uh, let's compare him with uh, with one of our our beloved uh, power stars here. This is uh, one who would save us all. Flash. Ah ha! 
Savior of the universe. I've got to open his hand up so he will hold his sword. There we go. He's got his little sword in his hand. And I can put it in his sword holder too if I wanted to. There we go. There's Flash Gordon. And uh, these guys have the uh, the articulation down here in the knee as well. That the superpowers don't have it. They have that superpower stance. All right, and uh, let's just grab actual superpower figure and do a comparison uh, with one of those. Uh, how about a vintage Batman? And let's see, uh, see how he compares with. Well, so, yeah, uh, if you saw all of these toys on the same shelf. Would you would you think that they were all in the same um, toy line? It, it, it's pretty close, I do believe. Pretty dang close. All right. We'll set these guys back to the back here, just a little bit out of the way, so we can get down into the goon there and get him open. And of course, uh, the goon is an interesting character. I haven't researched him a whole lot. I do know that uh, he's sort of an anti-hero. He's supposed to be a, the good guy of his comic, but he's really actually a goon. They can play together, that's for sure, Shaitan. So I'll read what it says back here on the back. Uh, and of course, there's our, our, our wonderful uh, cross cell. Uh, one man army known as the goon is a mob enforcer who operates in a fantastical horror-infused world filled with zombies, monsters, and other supernatural creatures. Blending crime, horror, and comedy, his exploits with his pal Frankie at his side give a classic nod to the pulp crime comics of the past. Initially published in 1999, The Goon is a unique award-winning work from creator Ed Eric Powell. Since its release, it has built a die-hard following and earned recognition by peers across the industry. Currently, Powell's own imprint at Dark Horse Comics, Albatross Funny Books, is the home to the Goon's ongoing adventure. And there you see the cover of some of his comics, Goon in Chinatown, The Mystery of Mr. Wicker, and A Return to the Lonely, uh, the Ragged, uh, a, a Ragged Return to the Lonely Street. So there we go. There's the goon, of course. Once again, we got the Fresh Monkey Fiction logo here in the corner. Long Box Heroes Collection, new for 2023. We have a picture from the comic here of the goon with the goon logo down here at the bottom. And, of course, Toy Otter there in the corner. Jason Goyer designed these figures. All right, uh, so let's get down into it. Uh, first, we got to pop the bubble. Get down here and pop that bubble. Get in there. There we go. Get him open. Nice and tightly uh, glued down, this bubble is, unlike some of McFarlane's superpowers uh, in the new line who aren't tightly glued down. And the goon comes with accessories. So he has an axe. Or a hatchet. And he has a lead pipe. And he has the old tried and true pipe wrench or a monkey wrench that he can hold in his hand. I'm gonna pull him off this plastic and get his figure stand out. And I will get rid of the packaging and get it out of the way so it doesn't litter up the table. And let's take a look at him. Uh, he has his head motion here, a little bit of head motion side to side. Uh, these heads pop off so you can interchange the heads. Something I failed to show you on the other one. He has his shoulder articulation, no elbow articulation, no articulation at the wrist, uh, hips, knees. He's a nice chunky big figure too. Of course, he's got that, that knee articulation that we've seen in the others. 
He's got some big old cloth hopping boots on there. And uh, he can hold one of his weapons here in his closed fist. Gotta get it down in there. There we go. So he got a pipe wrench and a piece of pipe and a hatchet here. So he can be an old goon. Now, for me, in my play, he is going to be a goon for one of the uh, bad guys. He's not going to be the character that he is in his own comic. He's going to be just a stereotypical goon. So there you can see them all together uh, and, uh, and compare and contrast them. And I'll come back over here and see what you guys are talking about. Rolando Flores, good to see you, sir. Glad you decided to hop in and join us today. So we opened up uh, Tick and Goon there and got them going. And uh, I'm going to try to find a place in my uh, toy containers here to keep them uh, safely. So that... Uh, I got to buy some more of these uh, these figure cases. Well, they're actually uh, they're actually made for for people who do arts and crafts to keep their arts and crafts stuff in uh, these these cases that I use, and I'll show one on the uh, camera here in just a second. Uh, and then you can you can move the, uh, the 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 little dividers around how you want, but that's what I keep my figures in. And I've got one right back here. It's the one that I'm keeping my uh, power stars and everybody in. So uh, that's where Flash Gordon goes. So he's going to go back where he lives. Right there. And Rocketeer has got him a place to live in his case. And I love his backpack here, the uh, the the rocket pack. It, it's it's like the comic rocket pack, not like the Disney movie or Touchstone, I guess it was, which is a Disney imprint. And I'll put him down in his little pocket there, and we got a place to put the goon because he is an oversized figure. He's going to live over here in the, the big the big pocket there. That man over here to the side. Put his accessories in there so they don't lose. And we got a place right here for the tick to live as well. And everybody has a place to live in this figure case. Here we go. Guys can see everything here. All the figures. Inside. There we go. All right. And we'll put this back over where it goes. And I'll put Batman back in the case that I've been keeping him in. This is my Batman family case. It's got uh, Nightwing in here. And it's got all my Robins. And it's even got uh, this Batman here from the Dark Knight collection from back in the day. Kenner Dark Knight collection from back around, I guess it was 1992 or 3. Here's the Robin from that collection. Robin here's got a vintage cape on. The other two Robins have Cape Master replacement capes on. Got an Alfred in there, a figure that I made myself. And uh, here we can see everybody inside their little house here where they live. Wonderful, wonderful cases to keep your figures in. And they sell these at Walmart. And the funny thing is, I've been wanting to buy a couple more of these cases, and Walmart has not been stocking them here lately, so it's kind of getting on my nerves. Because I need some new cases uh, for the new figures as they begin to arrive. So, if you guys see them at Walmart, snap them up, because I don't know if Walmart's going to continue to carry them or not, but I hope they do.
I hope to. All right. Room's starting to get messy again in here as, as new arrivals begin to arrive. Get me on camera there. And uh, I don't normally buy Funko stuff, but uh, last time I popped by Walmart, I found these uh, uh, figure bases, uh, little figure stands. They come with uh, little stands with uh, the little little pegs to put their feet on. Nice little thing to, to have because when you have figures standing, they, they tend to want to topple over if you don't have something to keep them in. Cool cases uh, keep everything in its place. That's right. Uh, thank you, uh, their uh, radical mom. And I'm going to put everything back away over here to the side. I don't trip and fall. Those over with. And uh, what about these two guys over here? Well, uh, I needed a couple of figures uh, that I didn't pick up back in back when they were available. And I really wasn't going for a web store. But uh, you can't find him much anymore. And he's pretty cool because he's got this action feature. Uh, you can uh, you can let him travel up his 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 uh, his line there, and then we got Stinkor, and I really needed a Stinkor figure really bad. So thank you, uh, Big Mike from Manic Plastic, for hooking me up. I'm surprised my Motu figures don't fall over more. Well, you know how the uh, the original vintage figures were. You couldn't make them stand up to save your life half the time because of the way they were made. But uh, the newer figures tend to do well because of the uh, the ankle articulation and the knee articulation and also the boot cuts. So you can stand them up straight and you can move their feet around to give them to, uh, some, some more uh, stability when they're standing up. And Web Store is pretty dead gum cool. Zoom in on his ass there. Check him out. He's got his gun in his hand. Uh, he's got his backpack on with his action feature in it. One of the few Motu uh, Origins figures that did have an action feature on it. Um, there's Stinkor there. Uh, he does have a slight smell. It's not very noticeable. And it's definitely not patchouli. So, yeah. Stupid rubber bands. Yeah. All of my vintage figures uh, have had uh, to have the... Uh, the connector bands for their legs replaced in them. There's two ways to do that. You can buy the he bands, which are pretty much the like the original connectors, or you can do the uh, do the little the little uh, O-ring with eyes. And I, I did uh, the 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 eye hooks, and I did the eye hook O-ring method on most of them because it's easier. I lost my collection. Thanks, Verizon. What? Elaborate. What happened? Uh, what? How did? And how was Verizon involved there, Susudio? I, I, I don't know. My web store is standing next to Battle Armor He-Man at the base of Snake Mountain. Speaking of Snake Mountain, uh, member of a Facebook group uh, for Motu Origins. It's a lot of uh, a lot of guys that do custom work in there. I've got something very special coming from my Snake Mountain, all the way from Sweden. I cannot wait to get it. Uh, I'm going to keep it a secret till it gets here and uh, surprise you guys with it when they finally get here. And that is the last thing I really wanted to, to complete my Snake Mountain. I've got the Lava Fall or the uh, the Blood Falls uh, 3D printed uh, accessory to go with it. But all I needed was one more little thing and I'm fixing to get that and it's coming. Uh, I was saying that the goon was the perfect characterization of a mob hitman. Actually, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Which is kind of why, you know, he's going to be like that goon for hire that you always see hanging out with the Riddler or the Penguin or even the Joker. And uh, that, that big old goon, unlike Bob the goon from back in the old 89 movie, that goon looks like that he might be able to stick up for himself with the Joker. I don't know. Comment was lost thanks to Verizon. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, comment was lost to Verizon. I uh, need uh, Stinkor and Triclops still. Uh, 
get in touch with uh, Big Mike over at Manic Plastic. He may be able to hook you up. And I think the Triclops figure, along with like Zodak, I think they were re-released uh, in a re-release. But uh, they they they're still kind of uh, kind of hard to find. Kind of hard to find. Yeah. All right, let's go back up here. We got some music and fun there, guys. And as you can see, we've got some new ones there. Uh, Batman, uh, Fantastic Four, uh, Getting Paid, and the Crack Miser. We haven't heard those yet today. And uh, we've done Wimp Busters, and uh, that's a pretty good one. That was Jerry Lawler's uh, uh, response to Jimmy Hart's Lance Russell's nose. So... Uh, you want some Batman? All right, we'll get Batman on. Is Stink or a skunk? Yeah, I think he's supposed to be like a skunk. He's got that black and white color and he stinks. Yeah, he's a skunk. He's an old skunk. All right, let's uh, let's get some Batman uh, on the list here. Dick Tracy. All right, we'll get Dick Tracy going. Episode one. We're all eagerly awaiting that episode two. That. Uh, we have been promised uh, ever since episode one came out, and he claims that he's in deeply into pre-production on that. He's pretty much right now kind of a outline of what the whole storyline is going to be, and he needs to script individual stories for that. All right, so I got Batman, uh, Dick Tracy, uh, Danny Boy, very well, uh, uh, Mary. We'll get Danny Boy on there. Uh, please do consider uh, uh, super chatting today so that we can reach our, our, our weekend goal. We're we're about seventy percent there, and uh, yeah, uh, we need to we need to get about a, a fifty dollars for this weekend. And uh, we're sitting at let's see, let's get the uh, the goals up here on the screen just real quick. There we go. We're at thirty five uh, eighty eight, so we're at seventy one point seventy six percent of our goal for the weekend. Uh, we've had two shows this weekend, and we did about $15 a show, $15, $20 a show. So if we can get that last little bit here, Crack Miser was a tribute to Hunter. There you go. All right, we'll get Crack Miser on there, too. And, of course, if you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for my... Oh, there you go. Radical Mom giving me that $10 uh, Canadian Super Chat. Thank you so much, Radical Mom. I appreciate that. All right, I'm getting back down here and we'll get the music and fun list back up. And let me start moving some stuff around in the video list. So uh, we've got uh, Dick Tracy. We want Danny Boy to go on there. We've already got, uh, got our buddy uh, Batman on there. And Crack Miser. We need some Crack Miser in there too. All right. Where old crack miser go? I was looking at there he is. There he is. We just heard the ching ching sound. That's that's uh there we go right there. There's his uh radical mom donating to us right right over here. There you go. Ten dollar Canadian super chat. Thank you there, radical mom. We appreciate that. That gets us. That gets us a little ways towards there. So we're 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 slowly getting where we need to be for the weekend. And uh, one more to put on the list. We got Batman, Dick Tracy, Danny Boy, and we wanted Crack Miser on there. So we need to track Crack Miser down there, and that'll get us started. So uh, here's the next round of music and fun.
Okay, Mumbles, Big Boy's on his way to the Slammer. Itchy's probably at the bottom of the river. You are in the hot seat. Now, where is Flat Top? What are you talking about, Brady? I don't know no Flat Top. No point denying it, Mumbles. We got plenty of photos of the two of you together. Cooperate. Maybe get a lighter sentence. You got nothing on me. I didn't do nothing on my mother. Forget it, Sam. I'm done playing nice. Hit the lights. Sorry, Mumbles. Looks like you're in for a long night. You're giving me the dirty degree and I want my lawyer. This ends when you tell me where Flat Top is. No, 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 Dick Tracy. Come in, Tracy. What do you need, Pat? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Tracy, flat tops out on 5th and G, firing indiscriminately. Two officers and a few civilians are down. He's screaming for you. I'm on my way. Where's Tracy? He doesn't have the guts to face me. I'll kill every copper until I see he shows. He's out of control. Lost his mind. I'll have to wait for the right moment. There he is, I... Weak leg! Steady, Tracy. He's going to be out soon. Now! What? Reload? Not now! This is Tracy. Suspect is down. Repeat, suspect is down. All right, Tracy. Dispatching an ambulance. <laughs>
314 uh, on our uh, goal here for the weekend so we're very 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 close uh, to, to getting our $50 goal reached and uh, we're still at uh, 924 subscribers I haven't gotten any subscribers in the last couple of weeks and I think that's because we got to uh, uh, some spring weather coming in and people are starting to go out as a matter of fact I think I'm going to go out and enjoy the uh, great outdoors today when the show is over it's really really nice outside I got to sleep at 3 a.m. but it's all good yeah you got to sleep uh, Pretty much right after the show ended probably yeah i stayed up a little while longer i had to start producing this show 2 a.m last night this morning 78 in chicago yeah yep um uh, so we're getting there folks and i appreciate everybody who has uh helped uh this weekend uh and uh, radical mom you've, you've given us our, our one super chat of the day and i appreciate that so so very much so uh, let's get over here to the music and fun list. And uh, yeah, Jeff, I'll get you back, man. We'll play that one more time for you before it's all over. Maybe even something that you like. I, mean, I know there's two of them that you like there. It is a beautiful day today, sunny. Very good. Awesome. Yes, it is. So uh, take a look there at the list there. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, get the chats off the screen real quick so you guys can see the list. And uh, you guys let me know what you want. Uh, we got uh, the Angie Baby down there. I, I, we played it once today. And uh, we're going to play Batman again for you guys. Uh, we got Crack Miser played so far. Now, that's okay, Susudio. Don't you worry about it. You already got that little 
yellow star there by your name so that lets everybody know that you are contributing uh to the to the fund so don't you worry none so uh I'm, I'm looking for some some ideas folks let me know what you got look there scarborough fair up there i know that's a favorite uh sally brown and wellerman their favorites as well uh went for my hike early this morning that's good it's always good to get out and then and, and do a little walk in that that gets the blood pumping so you guys let me know what you want off the list i've i've got i've got batman queued up we'll put it in this in this next uh round and uh i want to i want to make sure everybody's getting what they want we got uh, co uh, uh at least one new one on there for, from this weekend that hasn't played yet today and that's uh getting paid so if you haven't heard that yet you, you probably want to think about that a wellerman all right we'll get the wellerman on the list very good thank you there radical mom that time is now. Very good. We'll get that on the list as well. Thank you there, CCEO. And just waiting on some more some more ideas. I know I got the uh, I'm gonna get Batman in that list too, so I'll get it going here in just a second. Just look through the list there and uh and you start start giving out some ideas of what we would like to hear. There's the Wellerman right there. Find that time is now. Right. Pull that time is now down there next to the Wellerman. There we go. Bag of lights. All right. Motu karaoke night. Yeah, we'll get that on the list too. Very good. All right. All right. We need some karaoke night on there, and we'll get uh, some magic on there as well. Very good. 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 All right. There, pull it down here. Night. And bag of lights. Put it up here. Fantastic Four, very well, Sue Studio. Sue Studio sitting here uh, uh, telling everybody what she wants to hear, but nobody else is telling what they want to hear. Got you, Sue Studio. We'll get the Fantastic Four on the list as well. All right, so uh, we got we got some to start with here, and I'll continue working on getting these queued up. And uh, let's just get on into the video. There once was a ship that put to sea, and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew up or bowed up down, or below my bully boys blow. Soon may the Wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the time is done, we'll take our leave and go. She'd not been two weeks from shore when down on her a right whale bore. The captain called all hands and swore he'd take that whale in tow. <gasps> Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. Side harpooned and fodder when she dived down low. <gasps> Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. No line was cut, no whale was freed. The captain's mind was not of greed, and he belonged to the whaleman's creed. She took that ship in tow. <gasps> Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One All boats were lost, there were only four, but still that whale did go. <gasps> Soon may the weatherman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. As far as I've heard, the fight 
still on, the line's not cut, and the whale's not gone. The wellerman makes his regular call to encourage the captain crew, and oh, so may the wellerman come to bring the sugar and tea around. One day when the tongue and his done, we'll take or leave and go. <gasps> Soon may the wellerman come to bring the sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tongue and his done, we'll take or leave and go.
Wow, wow, wow. We have made gold today. We've gone over gold, as a matter of fact, thanks to Radical Mom. So I appreciate it, everybody. I'm partial to the 66 Batmobile because I grew up watching Adam West. Me too. However, I did like the Batmobile with Keaton Batman. You know, I'm going to do uh, 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 a video here one of these days with my Batmobile collection. Because uh, for, for these size action figures, I've got quite the collection of Batmobiles, including a Tumbler. Yeah, yeah, good to see Robin on a motorcycle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a little Corgi uh, uh, 1 12th scale. Well, not, uh, not 1 12th, more like 1 18th, 1 16th scale motorcycle that Corgi did. And it came with a figure on it, uh, a static figure that you had to take off and you had to carefully take that off. But uh, it's just the right size for the superpowers. And uh, I like the, the new uh, McFarlane Superpowers Batmobile because it's kind of a blend of the old Superpowers Batmobile along with uh, the movie Batmobile. But I'm going to tell you right now, in my mind, my opinion only now, that original Superpowers Vintage Batmobile is probably the best Batmobile toy ever. It has got play features out the butthole in it. It's got that capture claw on the back. It's got the battering ram on the front front it's got the working headlights two seats so batman and robin can ride together it's got the motor sound when you when you push it it's got the little little click sound so it sounds like the motor's running it's just the uh, it's the bomb and when i was a kid i loved that toy played with it over and over and over again i still have my original superpowers batmobile and uh it's been featured on the show quite a bit all right uh, i'm going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap up the show with some more music and fun. So you guys start thinking about what you want to hear on the last round of music and fun while the commercials play. And now, these messages. Cheerio. I'll pick it up there. Yummy Oreos. Whoops. Cheerios. Crunchy, yummy Odeos, toasted for extra crunchiness. Extra goodness in every yummy spoonful. Cheerios, the tasty part of this nutritious breakfast. Cheerios. When you want the great taste of Cheerios. <clears throat> Cheerios. Just Cheerios. The Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot from the Star Wars Action Figures Collection, each sold separately. I'm Jawa. Want to buy a droid? Show me what you got. It's R5-D4 and the Power Droid. So. And here's Greedo, Han Solo, and Walrus Man. You've had it now, Solo. Yeah. Greedo, it's Ben Kenobi and his lightsaber. We're in trouble. Let's get out of here. Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot, R5-D4, Greedo, and other action figures sold separately from Kenner. And now, another interesting story that's in the news. In the news, a first step toward bringing back the draft. A few years ago, the military draft caused protests all over the country. Now, President Carter has taken the first step toward bringing it back. We'll be back with the draft in the news. Sponsored by Three Musketeers Bar, the big chocolate bar that's fluffy inside. And now, the draft in the news. In his State of the Union message, President Carter said young men, and perhaps young women, should register with the government in case there's need for a military draft. A draft is a way of calling qualified people to serve in the armed forces. The selective service system was created in 1940 to run the draft. At 18, all men had to register with their local draft board. They received a draft card and a classification. If the classification was 1A, they could be called to serve right away. 2S meant they could put off serving because they were students. 4F meant they were unable to serve for medical reasons. Women did not have to register. In the 1960s, the draft came under a lot of criticism. Some young men burned their draft cards in protest. When the Vietnam Peace Agreement was signed in 1973, the draft ended. Only people who volunteered joined the military. Now, there are tense situations in Iran and Afghanistan. President Carter feels that an all-volunteer army may not be large enough in case of emergency. His plan to register young people is only a first step. 
It'll take an act of Congress to bring back the system of drafting young people into the armed forces. I'm Christopher Glenn with the draft in the news. Saturday, the Chisholms leave the wagon train to cross the desert alone. Oh, this desert scares me. On the new Chisholms, Saturday. Tonight on CBS. From a dismal orphanage, where zany villains plot their mischief, to a tour of the world's most exciting city, Annie's got it all. Annie at the Alvin Theater. For tickets, call charge at 239 7177. Join Kermit and the Muppets Monday at 7 30. All right, and we are back, and I do have uh, the, the requests on the list. I've got Sugar and Warriors. Uh, we're going to play Angie Baby last, and we've got uh, Locke Loman on the list as well, and a couple of my favorites as well, and we're going to get started. If you, if you uh, want to request while the music is playing, please do, and uh, make sure that, uh, that you hit that like button. Thank you, Sue Studio. And uh, we're going to get started with some videos. And if you have any requests while they're playing, put them in while they're playing or, or forever hold your peace because this is the last round. The year was 1746. The place, Dramossi Moor. The site of the Battle of Culloden. The Jacobite forces were massacred. In the aftermath of the battle, 400 or so remaining soldiers were rounded up and taken prisoner, and from there transported south to Carlisle Castle. Once there, the soldiers were lined up one in every ten were chosen to be executed, and the rest sent home to tell the tale. Legend has it, there were two brothers, side by side in Carlisle Castle. One to be executed, and the other sent home. And one turns to the other and says, Don't worry, we'll meet again. Ye take the high road, and I'll take the low road. And I'll be in Scotland afore ye.
Ready? Two, three. What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? What do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Early in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Early in the morning. Shave his belly with a rusty. Shave his belly with a rusty razor Shave his belly with a rusty razor Drunken sailor, that's what we do with a drunken sailor.